there is a kind of thing, and it's your character in the film, I suppose, where you, you can't quite believe that Mr. Rogers isn't somehow a, a fake or a, that, it's, that it's real. Well, I think, yeah, I think my character certainly, ha you know, they lived life from not even a, a cup half empty, though there was no cup. So he's, he is kind of looking for the darkness and everything. And he did, in, in a sense, kind of look for, for the other side of Mr. Rogers. And, and the irony was, you know, he only, he only saw the good side. Yeah, because there, found. there was no side to Mr. Rogers, was there, Tom? Well, he was a cracked vessel, but he would say that, oh, I'm just like you. I, I have failings and I have worries, but never mind about me. I, Graham, I would imagine that having the pressures of a television show like this come on week <laughs> after week <laughs> is going to be something that could wear you down after a while. Yes. Well, <laughs> I can only apologize, Mr. Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> we were always exhausted at the end of some of these scenes yeah. because we're, we were like, you know, stallions, action and rolling. We're ready to do it as fast as possible. And instead, Mari Heller, our boss on this, she, the director, she was always saying, no, no, slower, slower. <laughs> That's the opposite of what directors say. To yeah. And the odd thing, too, is because he made programs for children, you, you think that somehow his messages are going to be very simple, but there's profound. He was like a philosopher. Oh, he was, he was a, a, a king. Uh, they, there's, a, there's a number of episodes that he has, like... <laughs> it starts with a goldfish is dead in the tank. And uh, the entire half hour will leave you in tears by the time he's done with it. His desire was to always have people share their feelings. And he w would write songs and he would, he would be, be sitting there and say, you know, uh, I was really sad for a while, but I found it was good to talk about it because the music will start playing it because it's good to talk. It's good to say the things we feel. It's good to talk. You know, now, every man, every married man, should have that in his pocket because when you're having a fight, at 3 o'clock in the morning, <laughs> in which most of your vocabulary is, oh, let me get this straight. <laughs> oh, 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 I see, I see. You can be as angry as you want to with the love of your life, and you could just then end it with, well, you know what, you know what? It's good to talk. <laughs> it's good to say the things we feel. And all you're doing is I, you're I, I, your feelings and... Buddy, that's a victory! <laughs> but it gets to a point. It gets to a point. I've done it several times, it works very well. <laughs> then there's, like, the fourth, fifth time where you take the inhalation, you go... She goes, you sing that song. <laughs> we'll nail you to the wall. I'm not saying overuse it, I'm just no, saying have it in I your know. pocket. I know. Four times in a day is overuse. <laughs> Don't miss an all-new episode of The Graham Norton Show, Fridays at 11. And catch up now.